hi guys welcome to crypto school youtube channel in this video i will be bringing to you guys the latest news on terra luna and you know the news have been moving around and i've uh, published some videos about this token over the course of two weeks now and the token name has been changed from terra luna to terra classic guys this token name has been changed to terra classic now just let's take a look at what this guy says about this token that is from fatman twitter handle which is just in terra classic post attack airdrop snapshots just has just been taken you can now safely move buy or sell luna classic against USTC without it affecting your new luna airdrop amount which has been set in stone now with what is here my concern now is that is luna classic is going to be a good project like the former luna we know or is luna classic is going to be a dumb project then from here we try to move down to a coin market cap and see what I'm trying to put across you guys. You can see here, the name has been changed from Terra Luna to Terra Classic. Not only that, and the price of this token has been going down, as you can see, the price of the token has been going down, and here is 0.0001417 cents, and the volume amount to 882.18 million dollars that is what we have here and see that the price of this token is moving down drastically now what happened to terra luna and the former terra luna just take a look at what is here through the terra document which gives us a clue or an update of what is likely to happen then i will read through this piece and you can go on your own and read details of this exchange migration guide so there is going to be a migration from the old terra to the new Terra that is from the old Terra, which is now uh, Terra Classic, to the new Terra that is going to be a Terra. So use this guy to uh, to rebrand the original Terra shame as Terra Classic and integrate the new Terra shame. Please read this page entirely as it contains important information. So just on your own read. Then I'll just pick some key points here and discuss on it. The first one is general information. So this is general thing that you need to know about this token. So I'll pick the one there. The first one says the original chain will still function and be rebranded to Terra Classic. Here we have the Terra Classic and here it has been changed on this particular channel to a Terra classic not even here again it's also changed here to be terra classic as we can see from cool coin it has been changed to be terra uh, classic then what are the, <coughs> the general thing that you need to know about this terra classic the original cost machine will still run the market swarm that is mint slash bond function disable now then all balance will remain as they are then luna will become luna classic that is the name has been brand to luna class that is l-u-n-c then terra stable coin which is u-s-t k-r-t e-u-t e-t-c will be renamed terra classic stable coin that is u-s-t-c k-r-t-c and e-u-t-c just like that now the new terra which is the new terra that is just be a repeat the new terra shape will be called terra and we assume the terra branding asset so it will now take a name of the old terra uh, chain the new chain is also a cosmos chain but we not have the treasury oracle and market modules of the original chain that is what you need to take a look at that particular place the new chain the new chain native mining token will be luna there will be no Terra stable coin. So these are the common difference between the Terra Classic and the Terra coin. So the new one, there will be no uh, stable coin like the former one on the new chain. Then let's take a look at the branding of this particular project. The branded, the original chain will be uh, be branded to be Terra Classic as I've mentioned, and the new one will be called Terra. Then naming 
convention. So Terra Classic, the original Terra chain will be rebranded as Terra Classic as we've mentioned and the new one will be called uh, Terra. And here is what we need to know about the new one. Official chain is Terra. Luna will be the main staking asset on the chain. The new chain does not contain any Terra stable coin. While the uh, old one, which is Terra Classic, contains some stable coin, as I've mentioned in this particular video. Now, all Terra stable coin will be rebranded as Terra Classic stable coin. For example, Terra USD will be UST, will be rebranded as Terra Classic US, that is USTC, or Terra, Terra um, KRW will be KRT, will be rebranded to be Terra Classic KRW2, just like that. Then the, the logo also will have effect on its logo, the logo will be changed, and many other things that will take place. Then the, 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 the classic we take on so you cannot download this asset using the following link you can download the logo you see this place and just like that if you have uh, if you need the logo you download the logo use that uh, asset they're talking about the magnet launch schedule so here are the main the most uh, another important thing i want to talk about here is the uh uh, uh the air drop pre-attack snapshots to be taken to terra classic block so and post attack snapshot to be taken to Terra Classic block. So note, the post attack block is transmitted to occur on May 27. That is May 27. This block time is an estimated and may be subject to change. Please use the block highest rather than the estimated time. Calculation described below should be carried out and resulting value should be uh, utilized to properly calculate the airdrop quality. So the airdrop quality and then the pair of this token is what we are, are to see so the classic will be traded against usdt and the usdc against usdt why and the decks we have lunar classic against eth and lunar against usdc then let's take a look at the initial supply and inflation of this one then the initial supply of luna and genesis is of the new terra shield will be one billion coin the mint module will release new coin every block as taking reward at a default rate of around 7% PA. Now, the Terra 2.0 core and audit core, so you can just read through this place and read through the audit core. Now, to buttress what I've been seeing here, you say that Terra Classic are functioning on this particular uh, place that you, you treat Terra uh, Classic against USDC. So these are many more things that you need to know about this token. Guy, as you can see, as I've mentioned, that the price of this token has dropped and is still dropping. I don't know, maybe Terra Classic will still functioning or it will not, but I hope it's a remain in the market for a while and I believe or I hope that the token will keep moving on. Guy, if you have this token in your wallet, I don't know what will it going to happen to us. We are in this particular uh, uh, dilemma together. I myself I have this token but for now this is the latest I have for you guys about this token as I've mentioned guys please if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my YouTube channel toggle the bell so that you'll be notified again when I upload another video on this channel and if you have been watching my video without subscribe guys please to me before subscribe to my channel give me a thumb up and as well drop your comment thank you guys see you in my next video thanks for watching